Hello everybody, it's Tuomo from CodePulse.blog and in today's video we are going to create a React component that has the ability to add text with hash text to our React application. For this we will use Draft.js, an open source library for its text editing and a plugin system that is made on top of that called Draft.js plugins. If you are unfamiliar with Draft.js, uh, you should definitely check out my online course about it. You can find it from Skillshare and Udemy. I'll leave a link in the description. And I should also mention that if you don't already have a Skillshare account and you use the link in the description to register, you'll get two months of Skillshare Premium for free. So you can watch all the courses on the platform for two months for free. Normally it costs something around 14 bucks per month to use Skillshare, but you can now get two months for free. So if you are not yet using Skillshare, make sure you check that out. But now let's see how we can add those hashtags. So let's open up DraftJS plugins website. We can find it from draftjsplugins.com and as we can see there is a bunch of available plugins. We need the hashtag plugin, so let's take a closer look at that. And from the description we can see that it highlights words starting with the number sign or the hashtag sign. And in order to use it we need DraftJS plugins editor and DraftJS hashtag plugin. And remember also that when we use, use any of these plugins we need DraftJS installed also. So that's a requirement also. Uh, so let's switch to our terminal and initialize the project. So let's use create react app and I'm gonna name it hashtag example. Okay our project is set up so let's change the, the folder and now install the dependencies we needed so they were the DraftJS plugins editor and DraftJS hashtag plugin and remember also DraftJS. So let's add yarn, add DraftJS, DraftJS plugins editor and DraftJS hashtag plugin. Like this. Okay, now that they are installed, let's open up our code editor and start our development server. So now our project is set up and we need next we need to add the component itself. So let's take a quick look the of the documentation. Uh, we can see that we can import some default styles. So the plugin ships with default styling av available at this location. So if we want to use default styles, we can import them from there. And if you are using Webpack, you need to add some style and CSS loaders to your Webpack configuration. But since we are using Create React app, they are already configured. Then there is a theme configuration parameter for the plugin. So if we want to style our hashtags, we can use a theme parameter with, with some CSS styles applied to the hashtag. But now here is this simple example of the hashtag editor. So we have the editor and we can type in text in it. And when we use the hashtags, it converts the hashtag word to a hashtag and uh, makes it a different color. And here is the code for that simple editor. And I am going to actually take this code and copy it. And switch back to our Visual Studio code. And inside Visual Studio code, I'll create a new file, my editor and paste, paste in the example code inside. Uh, next, I'll open up my app.js file and I'm gonna remove some code from here. Uh, 
like this and then import the editor component. Like this and then return the my editor component or render it. I save the file, switch back to the browser and we get an error which states that editor style CSS can't be resolved. So let's fix that. So in the example we style our editor with this editor styles CSS as we can see see it here. It uses editor class inside of it. So let's create that file. And I'm gonna paste in the styles from the example. So down here. Like this. Now we get the editor rendered. There is still some problems with the styling, but we'll tackle them in a minute. First, let's just take a look what happens inside of the my editor JS. So first we import React, then we import the actual editor component inside of DraftJS plugins editor, and this editor is uh, almost the same as the editor from DraftJS. Uh, with the difference that you can pass in plugins for it. And then we import the actual hashtag plugin. And after we have imported it, we actually have to create the plugin object itself. And that happens here with the create plugin. Then <clears throat> we define an array of plugins, which for now just has the hashtag plugin inside of it. So if we wanted to use some different plugins with this editor also, we could add them here. So uh, that's why this plugins is an array. So we can add multiple plugins for the editor if we wish. Then we have some uh, initial text and the actual uh, component. There is a state we define with on, with, which only has the editor state variable and we initialize the editor state with some some initial text that was defined here. Then we have onChange method that updates the editor state, then a focus function that we use to focus the editor, and then in the render method we have a div that has the uh, styles applied to it, so this applies the actual editor styles from the editor style CSS. And then the editor component, and this is the same as, or the same kind of syntax as the DraftJS editor has, so we need to pass in editor state for it, then on change handler, and this is different from the DraftJS editor, we also need to add plugins, plugins uh, array for it, uh, and this, as we talked about before, we can add multiple plugins, but because we only have one, we have the hashtag plugin in here, but it needs to be an array, even though we have only one, one plugin. So this is where we pass in the plugins for the editor. So that's, that's what happens here. And as we saw, there is some styling problems here, and we can fix them by with a little modification. So we have the editor styles CSS here. And when we look at the documentation, we can see that there was some uh, talk about uh, configuring Webpack to use style and CSS loaders. And if we were using Webpack, this should work like this correctly. But since we are using uh, create React app, and we are using Webpack behind it, but yeah, since we are using create React app, in order to use CSS modules, we need to uh, rename our files, CSS files, so that create React app understands that we want to use CSS modules. And how we do that is like this.
so I will rename this to editorstyles.module.css. So this is the naming convention that uh, tells Create React App that okay we want to use uh, CSS modules with this file and I will also fix the import like this and now when we save this and switch back to the browser uh, we have still some error ah sorry it's without an s so editor styles .module .css. we can see that we get the styles for this uh, editor so there is a different background color and some border so now our editor is styled but our hashtags are still black so if we wanted to make them blue as in the example here we need to import the default styles for the for the <coughs> plugin so let's copy this line and add it to our component up here import draft says hashtag plugin lib plugin css so this is the default styling for the hashtags and when we save the file and switch back to the browser we can see that our hashtags are beautifully uh, styled with blue color uh, this is one way to style the hashtags with the default styles but as we mentioned earlier there is a theme version of it so if we wanted to add some custom styles for them we could make use of the theme uh, configuration parameter so let's see how that works so i'm gonna comment out this uh, import for the default styles for the hashtags i'll save this and check that yeah now my hashtags are blue again and if i scroll down i can find css for the the green and different font hashtag so i'll just copy that and now i in order to use custom styles with the hashtags i need to create a new file with the hashtag styles in them hashtag styles.css and I'll paste the hashtag style here and save it and inside my editor I now need to import those hashtag styles and then pass in them as a theme parameter for the hashtag plugin so when I'm creating the plugin I will pass an object as a parameter and in that object I will have a key theme with value hashtag styles like this so now we are applying the styles from the hashtag styles file to the hashtags itself I'll save this and now when I switch back to the browser I still see that my, my hashtags aren't styled so they are not green and good looking and this is now the same problem that we had earlier so with create react app we need to uh, rename our CSS files to uh, the file name dot module dot CSS if we want to use CSS modules and this uh, hashtag plugin and this theme parameter uses CSS modules so we need to import this hashtag styles with the module.css name and then also rename the file like this and now when we save the file and switch back to the browser we can see our hashtags are beautifully Themed. But that's it for now. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next video.